Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are doing your August love reading. Everything that you'll need to know about this reading or about scheduling personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. Personals are on sale right now. You can receive a three question recorded video reading for $20 or an hour Zoom reading for $50 and everything that you need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. All right, Taurus, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. You have two nines here. So there's definitely something that is a situation that may have been getting drug out or may have been at a standstill. There's something that just lacked closure, okay? It still felt very open, um, at least energetically, right? Even if there was no physical actions going on, at least energetically, something still felt very open, Taurus. Um, and to me, with these nines being present, it's like something's about to get wrapped up one way or another. So let's let's take a look at this. You have a star card here for the situation. I feel like, to me, this is representing hope, healing, faith, renewal, wish fulfillment. You also have the nine of cups as well. So two cards of wish fulfillment here. Two cards of... That's very, very nice. We've just got this five of cups here for your energy. Like I said, I feel like you guys have been... I feel like you guys have been going through something here with this person. I feel like for a lot of you guys have been in separation. I think that things have been maybe stagnant or at a standstill for a while. The five of cups is a card of disappointment, grief, sadness. I think that you guys are... Trying to heal from that, especially with that star card being present. I think you have been trying to heal from it. The nine of wands is the challenge. To me, I just feel like for some of you guys, this nine of wands energy, I feel like you're still wanting to work on things here. I think there's a part of you that does not want to give up on this connection. Um, but at the same time, I feel like this person has hurt you. Okay, I feel like that's where some of the sadness is from and this healing energy. I feel that, you know, it could be a little bit conflicting, Taurus, because I feel like a part of you does still want to work on this. Um, but the other part is a little bit distrusting, a little bit guarded because of getting hurt. You have the seven of swords here in the immediate future. We're going to take a look at that. To me, I just feel like it's a little bit distrusting, especially with this nine of wands. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior, and he's been through so much that he always kind of has his head on a swivel. He's always like expecting the worst or expecting the other shoe to drop, right? Um, and then because this person has hurt you in the past, I feel like it's natural for you to be in that energy. I do feel like you... You can't, can't help it. You just feel a little bit distrusting. And the Seven Swords is representing that as well. I feel like there could be something coming up that kind of triggers this. It makes you wonder and makes you question, like, can I believe this? Is this person being genuine? Um, we're going we're gonna to get into that in a moment. They're showing up here as the Justice card. So somebody could be coming in and expressing some kind of truth to you or coming in and wanting to um, make something right with you, right some wrongs. And maybe that's where this distrusting energy is coming from and why you're feeling so guarded, Taurus. Is because it's like, can I really trust this person? Is this really a good idea for me? Are they being genuine? Let's see. And I feel like because it has been hard on you and you have been so hurt by this person, I feel like you're just almost afraid to just, um, you know, put yourself back into that position. You have this Nine of Cups energy here for how to get through your challenge. So to me, I do feel like it is very important for you guys to focus at this time on your own mental, emotional, and like spiritual well-being, physical well-being, okay? Um, the Nine of Cups talks about being emotionally satisfied and content and happy within yourself. And when we're in that space, then we are ready for another person, right? Because we are recognizing that happiness, true happiness comes from within and not something outside of ourselves or another person. So I do feel like you guys are being asked to really focus on that at this time because that is going to help you deal with this connection as well. You'll be able to um, to process it, to manage it, to heal things with this person if you're doing the healing within yourself. I hope that that makes sense for you guys. Um, you have this potential outcome here of the King of Cups. So there is still a lot of love here between the two of you. And I feel like there is potential for you guys to get to a good space. Um, but we're going to need to clarify and see what's going on. 
Tell me about this star card energy. Why is this star card here for Taurus? We got the King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, a little bit, feeling a little bit emotionally guarded or emotionally unavailable. Somebody could have made you feel like they didn't really care for you or you could have somebody's actions in the past could have made you question whether somebody actually loved you or actually cared about you like how could they love me and treat me this way or how could they love me and do this those are the kind of things that i'm feeling with that and i think you've been really trying to um you know just to heal from that and i do feel like it has caused you to be a little bit emotionally guarded i feel like you haven't even wanted to move on with anyone else either since this has happened tell me about this five of cups energy we got this devil so the signs I'm seeing, we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius again, Sagittarius, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio again. Could be any sign, but those are the ones that I'm seeing. You also have some Virgo energy here at the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of fear of getting hurt again. You know, that's how you're showing up in this. You know, somebody could be coming in and wanting to make things right, and a part of you really, really wants to believe them, but it's like you're realizing, you're noticing that you're feeling a little bit more guarded, a little bit more emotionally unavailable than normal when it comes to this person. You're feeling a little bit distrusting, and I think it's all stemming from this devil energy, this fear of getting hurt, because some of you guys may have been really, really challenging. Um, you may have obs even like obsessed over this for a while, so you know, I, I just think you're afraid to get back to that space. Tell me what this Nine of Wands energy is here for. We got the full card in the reverse. Yes. Uh, very hesitant, feeling very anxious about taking a chance on this, opening back up to this, having this new beginning. Part of you wants it, and the other part is afraid of it. We got this Seven of Swords energy with the Three of Swords. And that makes the ten, you know, the seven and the three together make the ten of swords. So you could have felt betrayed by this person or when things ended in the past, you know, it just, it broke your heart, Taurus. It just broke your heart. And I feel like that's why you're afraid. Um, the seven of swords can represent um, self-sabotage. You could be afraid of like putting yourself back in that position. Um, the seven of swords can also talk about, because he's stealing swords from an enemy army, um, so they can't use them against him the next day in battle. But he's sneaking away with all these swords in his hand. It's a very sketchy situation, right? Um, sometimes it can Seven of Swords can talk about a situation that just needs to be handled carefully, uh, delicately. I feel like that's how you're seeing this. You're seeing this person coming back as something that you need to handle carefully um, because you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get hurt again. Yeah, you can see that here with this devil energy, with this fear, um, the fear of grief, the fear of getting your heart broken again. Tell me about this justice card. Why is the justice card here? Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Queen of Wands in the reverse. So somebody isn't feeling the most confident. Um, they may be, per they may, this may be somebody who usually is confident or portrays like they're always confident. They may have like an ego, but, um, you know, they're not, they're not feeling very confident. Queen of Wands in the reverse. To me, this is like feeling a little bit insecure about reaching out. And maybe that's because they know how much they have hurt you. They know, you know, they're not really sure where they stand with you or where, where things stand between the two of you at this time. If this person, this is going to be just for a small few, if this person was involved with somebody else, I feel like that is over now. Um, they have, they were in a karmic situation. I feel like that has ended here. They have this nine of pentacles energy and then they're ready for this king of pentacles energy, something very stable, long-term committed. That is your energy as well, Taurus. It's like they're wanting to move back towards you here. Somebody's wanting to come in and make things right and they're feeling a little bit nervous about it. Tell me about this. Tell me about this nine of cups energy. Got the five of cups in the reverse. It's okay. It's a, it's okay to to feel conflicted, you know. And I feel that this struggle here, like a part of you who feels so happy, um, because this is what you've been wishing for, um, and the other part that is afraid of it, and it's like I don't know if I if I should do this. I don't know if I want this. And it's okay to feel both. You can love someone and miss them and also be very angry with them. You know, you cannot want to see them and want to see them. It's okay to have conflicting feelings, okay? I feel like that could be coming up for you guys. Um, and it's, it's really challenging you. So just give yourself the time and space that you need to deal and process with all of those feelings. And understand that however you're feeling is okay. 
We have this King of Cups energy here for the potential outcome. We've got this High Priestess. Death card in the reverse. We'll get one more. And Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So death card in the reverse, somebody doesn't want to accept things are over. It could feel a little bit like a resistance to change, a resistance to give. I feel like this is your energy. Um, and I only mean this like because I feel like you guys are feeling so protective of your heart. Um, so take the time to really listen to your intuition, to trust your intuition. Because um, I feel like the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, and it's like you're afraid to give too much um, in case it doesn't go the way that you want it to go. You know, in, in case nothing has really changed here with that Death card in the reverse. Um, you're like worried that something hasn't really changed and you're afraid to start to give to this again. Um, so just... The way that I would recommend, you guys do what's best for you always, but with the Six of Pentacles, you know, give a little bit, and when then they when they match that energy for a while, then you can give a little bit more. You don't have to go and give all. You know, you can you can do it gradually and make sure that the energy is being reciprocated and make sure things have really changed. Take it at your pace, okay, Taurus? Um, but that is what I have for you. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and supporting me and I will see you soon.